The Parallax Bobot can navigate autonomously using the whiskers included in the kit and described in Andy Lindsay's text, Chapter 5. Before we go on, remember the pin numbers. The left whisker is on pin 5 and the right whisker is on pin 7. This table of variables will display the values as the animations proceed. Whisker contact changes the value of a pin to 0. For the left whisker, in 5 changes to 0, and for the right whisker, the change is at in 7. The code in the program Roaming with Whiskers BS2 creates a response for each possibility of whisker contact. If both whiskers touch a wall, then go back and do a U-turn. If only the left whisker is in contact, then only in 5 is 0. The Bobot will back up a little and turn 90 degrees away from the left wall. If only the right whisker is in contact, then only in 7 is 0. The Bobot will back up a little and turn 90 degrees away from the right wall. If no whiskers are touching, then send another pulse to the wheels to continue moving forward. If well calibrated, the Bobot turn will be 90 degrees, but a smaller duration will turn the Bobot through less than 90 degrees, and that can get the Bobot stuck in a corner. Consider the logic of what is happening when the Bobot is stuck. First, the bumps are one whisker only. Second, the current bump is the opposite side of the last bump. And third, there are repeated bumps in the above pattern. The Parallax program Escape Corners BS2 provides a solution. Every time there is a bump, the code checks to see if only one whisker made contact. Then it checks if the bump is the opposite side from the last bump. If it is, then a bump counter is increased by one. When the counter gets above four, the code considers the Bobot stuck. Instead of a 90 degree turn, the Bobot does a U-turn and leaves the corner. This escape program requires some additional variables. Counter is increased each time there is a bump that is opposite of the last. And to check if the bump side is opposite from the last bump, the status of the last bump must be saved for each whisker. When the Parallax Escape Corner program starts, it sets an arbitrary start point of the last bump being a right by making old 7 equal to 0. The old state of left was not bumped and is set to 1. And that imaginary right bump was the first increment in the counter. Having finished the setup, the motion begins forward sensing that there is no contact on the left or the right whisker. A left contact occurs and the logical processing begins. If the event is on a single side, then the in 5 and the in 7 will be opposite. That means there is the potential for the corner problem. Next, the program checks to see if the current bump is from the opposite side as the previous bump. The code checks both sides with one AND expression. The right side is opposite of the last bump, so that's true. The left side is also opposite of the last bump, so that is true. The truth of these tests means that the Bobot may be getting stuck in the corner, so the Bobot reacts. First, it records the status of the whiskers for next time. Second, it increases the counter by one. Then the Bobot can begin its reaction motions, backing and turning away from the wall. This time, a right contact occurs, and the logical processing begins again. The two sides are different, telling us it's a single-sided touch. And again, both sides are now opposite their last state. Those criteria indicate the Bobot is still headed for a stuck situation. The code reacts the same as last time recording the status of the whiskers for next time for the left and the right, and increasing the counter by one. Then the Bobot can begin its reaction motions, backing, and turning away from the wall. As we can see, the Bobot is headed to repeat the left bump. The Bobot repeats the left bump again. Left whisker contact. Be sure sides are different from each other. Be sure both whiskers are different from their last bump. Right, left, save value for left, save value for right, increment the counter, and leave the left corner. As predicted, another right bump. As you recall, we set the maximum number of bumps to four. Although we're at four, we have to go over four to activate the escape. That will be on the next bump. Save whisker values to old, add increment to make the counter five. The next bump will be the one that sees a counter of over four and will escape. One more bump to the left. The logic begins the same as before to establish only one side is in contact and that the two sides are opposite of their last bump. But now we have an important check. Is the counter over four? It is, and so we switch to the code for escape. But before moving, the code resets the counter to one so that the Bobot is now considered out of the corner. 
the escape instructions back up the Bobot and turn it 180 degrees to head straight away from the corner. To summarize, when an autonomous vehicle is programmed to turn 90 degrees away from a wall, it can get stuck in a corner. But by keeping count of alternate bumps, a limit can be set, after which the Bobot changes its behavior to escape. Checking that the bumps are one side only and are opposite from the last bump takes several steps of logic. But by studying this animation and its variables window, the technique becomes clear.